CD? Okay, tell me the truth. <clears throat> How does this look? Does this look okay? Maya, we're just going down to the old neighborhood for Peanut's birthday. Exactly, and I don't want to look all high desert uppity. You know, I want to look down with my people. But not too down, because I do want them to know that we have come up. Then you're perfect. Oh, sweetie, we are not going to be perfect until Peanut sells you back your share of the garage. Well, don't worry, baby, we've got a good plan. Mm -hmm. We throw Peanut a birthday party. He throws me back half my business. Uh-huh, and what if he's still upset that you left him hanging when you went to NASCAR? You know, it took me some time to get over it. What? Yeah, but you did after I got you drunk. And that's what I plan to do to Peanut. Uh -huh. I call that step two. Well, you know how Peanut gets when he's drunk. He gets belligerent. So did you. Which takes me right into step three. He gets belligerent, gets into a bar fight, gets arrested, we swoop in, bail him out, and he owes us big time. Okay, right. Sounds like a plan you got it covered. And, you know, if we don't have enough bail money, I'll, uh, I'll just shift some, some things around, and I'll showcase plan four and five. You know, Peanut loves a cleavage. My... Uh, Darnell? Them's my girls. <laughs> Like four, right? Okay. Well, this might be the best one yet. Hey. Sorry, Bajan, but you came cold again. If you want to make this your pants will happen, he said get in the car. No problem. All right, gang, pack it up. We're on the move. Wow, I can't believe we're finally finished. It feels like we're finally just getting into a little groove. No, man, we're not tapping into some new sound. Mm. You soul ain't scared of a minor key. <laughs> hey, um, who do I talk to about getting paid? Accounting? Because, you know, I'm not busy. I could always go over in person. <laughs> Pump your brakes. We ain't even submitted the tracks yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I, I don't know what happens next. Well, I've been working with other producers, too. I'm a producer? Yes. Now, this is how it works. Hmm. I submit, like, 30, 40 tracks to the label. They make their notes. We come together. Then we chop it down. Oh. Wow. I, mean, I guess I didn't realize I was up against so many others. Oh, no. Nothing to be nervous about, though. I mean, what we did was special. I mean, out of the four, I, I know at least one of them going to make it. The limo's waiting downstairs. That's my time, Lynn. All right. All right. Good to see you, baby. All right. Cool. Hit me up when you know what's what. Or, you know, what's not what. Or what could be what. Hey, you know what? Just kick me up no matter what. Peanut. How you feeling, dog? I love you, man. You like family. Well, since we family, you know, I was hoping we could talk about the family business. You know, the, the garage. I love that garage. It's like family. Yeah, that's right. That's our baby. You know, I figured with all my NASCAR training, we could really raise the profile down. No doubt. You know, I'm going to high performance, classic cars, pulling some of them Crenshaw Cholo dollars. You feel me? No doubt. So I can buy back in? No can do. Uh-uh. Why? I don't own the garage anymore. You know me. I'm not the manager type. So who'd you sell to? Kenny Phelan. A nice profit, too. Kenny Phelan? Well, I hated that guy since high school. He always trying to get what I got. Welcome home, Darnell. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Kenny? I heard NASCAR didn't work out. Well, it wasn't for me. You know, if you want my old spot, though, I can write you a letter. I don't think they want a recommendation from a quitter. Besides, I got my hands full as owner of Kenny's Auto Repair and Patisserie. Patisserie? That way, folks can get a lube and a latte at the same time. Karen? Hey! How are you, girl? It has been way too long. Oh, hey, Maya. What you doing down here? I thought you was too good for us. Uh, <laughs> well, who told you that? That's the word on the street. Big, successful Arthur by the mansion in one of them gated communities. Oh, come on, girl, okay? It ain't no mansion. And the gate doesn't shut, it's just for shut. Sure. I mean, sure, you know, my book may have touched a cultural nerve, but I'm still regular people. Mm-hmm. All right, Kenny, 
let's just cut through the crap. When can I buy back into the garage? I'm not selling any shares, but I might be willing to hire you as a employee. Work for you? Oh, hell no. Well, you know, I guess with your wife being all successful, you could just steadman your way into happy retirement. Mr. <laughs> Smith, I should have whooped your ass back in the day. Okay, now that temper needs some watching. Bottom line, I'm a businessman. Remember, he did get a C plus in econ. <laughs> and if you and your NASCAR skills can bring in some business, then we might can get our LLP on in the future. So how long till I can buy it? Didn't I just say the future? So that's any day after today. Yeah, all right. All right. I'll give it a shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, it, it kind of ruins the bottled water when you pour it over tap water ice. Regular people, huh? Mm-hmm. If we just hired on security, you wouldn't have to watch her like that. No, 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 we're watching her because she's expecting a call from Big Boy. And if she gets a call, it could change her life. This is a defining moment, and we are here to witness it. And remind her that when she gets paid, we get paid. <laughs> oh, my God, she's answering it. Is this could be it. Prayer hope. Prayer hope. Thy servants humbly come before thee. Joan, the Lord doesn't have time to sift through your preamble. Bottom line it for him. Man, we need our loot. Amen. Oh, oh God, she's doing her happy dance. It's not the happy dance, it's a rain dance. It's very similar. No, it's definitely her happy dance. Otherwise, she'd have her dog in a boomerang. Oh, God. Ball dry, decaf, soy cap. What's all the hoopla with the hoopla? There's only one authorized radio channel around here, gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> Darnell, I'm a little disappointed. What is it now, Kenny? Your time management. All right, this is a three-hour job. I'm just trying to do it right. I guess I just expect a little more NASCAR sizzle. I can get slow from any short bus grease monkey. All right, that's it. I'm out. Dude, I'm out. Done. Where are you going, jumpsuit? Unemployment? Shake it off, man. He just messing with you. That's what I thought. Now, now, when you're done over here, why don't you go trot on over and set the clock on my brand new vet? <laughs> It's my turn. If we're talking turns, then technically your turn came up circa 1996. Hey, man, how's it going? How's it going? Awful. I'm working at my old garage for this guy, Kenny, man. And we've been butting heads since high school. And he's got me by the stones. I got to make this paper, man, but I don't know. I mean, the guy's riding me. He's making me crazy. I got a level with you, man. I only came over here for small talk. <laughs> I can't believe that two months ago I was seen on the street. Look at me now. Producer on the new Big Boy album. <laughs> Where's Big Boy anyway, huh? I give up a whole Saturday to get my due did. Spending six hours down in Crenshaw, reading some old-ass jet, smelling the combination of hot comb remnants and line cock catfish. <laughs> I thought you found a girl up in Lancaster that could do your hair. Wh why are you going down there? Because I need to show my people that I still keeps it real. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna give Big Boy a call. So it's taking me so damn long. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I know exactly what you're going through. Oh, come on. You're a senior partner. People work for you. <laughs> I still gotta bite my tongue. I still got a boss, which means I still got an idiot in my life. Okay, um, I, you know, I'll be there in a minute. No problem. Wait, wait, where are you going? I have to go. There's some little hiccup with the label. It's no big deal. I'll be back in a jiff. Okay, but I can't promise that the CD-shaped goat cheese and cranberry quesadilla is going to be here. <laughs> oh, I can. We all want to be in the big boy business, so obviously we want you to be happy. 
Well, isn't it obvious that I ain't happy? Hey, sorry I'm late, folks. Catch me up. What you doing here? Bridget called. She said there was a hiccup. I'm here with the paper bag. Who is this? Lynn Searcy, producer. Yeah, she co produced a track that y'all tripping on. What, what, tripping? Who's tripping? What? We're not tripping. The track is disrupting the flow. No, no, the dissonance of the track is meant to complement the flow. Big boy fans know he's all about music exploration. Yeah, they expect something different. Different? Yes, but not unrecognizable. Well, what? We can recognize it up a bit. What you want? No, I lose the track before I change it. All right, so we're agreed. The track is gone. What? The track's gone where? <laughs> okay, but you regret it. What? No regrets? No, no, no. Don't go to bed angry. Come on now. <laughs> lay, 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 lay. It's the music business. It happens all the time. Well, not to me. You got to stay true to your artistic vision. Vision? What vision? My vision is to pay my rent and get glasses. I know it means more than that to you. All right, fine, it does, but come on, what difference does it make if it's not on CD? You can't just cave from the jump. You know, people will always tell you, make it a little smooth or make it more commercial, make it less risky. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the battle's just begun and you got to pick and choose your fights. And this round, I think we're going to take the count. Well, then what happens to me? You're talented, you know what I'm saying? You got an original voice, and I think you're going to be okay. Right? needs us to do a few tweaks to, you know, keep him happy and... I mean, I might even have to go on tour with Big Boy. But You're going on tour? Oh my God! Man, that is such a big deal. Oh my God! Oh my God! Bring out the Travel Club Cupcakes! No, 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 Joe, please. It's, it's, it's no, no, come on, you've got to get used to being in a spot like no, that! Joe, excuse me, excuse us! Everybody gather around! Gather around! Gather around! Gather around. Ah! Okay, you guys, everybody? Yes, no, no, sweetie, listen, okay. Join me in celebrating a milestone in the life of my dear, dear friend, Lynn Searcy. Tonight, she's crossed over to the big time! Speech! 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 No, no. Did your fans what they play? Um, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just so happy. I mean, this, this is the greatest day in my life. My dreams have come true, so, um, thank you. Hey, traffic's gonna be bad. There's an accident on the 5 and 14 interchange, so I made your breakfast burrito to go, and you can put the hot sauce on it in the car. That's probably why the accident happened in the first place. Man trying to do for his family, got to steal with his knees to put on a few drops of red rooster just to get some pleasure in life. <laughs> You know what, General? I would say something to you for popping off at me like that, but I know that's just the devil. So I'm not gonna give that any power. I know there's something going on with you. I'm really not trying to hear that right now. Oh, well, when are you trying to hear it, huh? Tonight? When you come home in a bad mood, cranky, yelling at the TV, popping off at Jabari for no reason? I'm just tired. No, you're not just tired. You've been miserable ever since you started working at Kenny's Garage. Well, what do you want me to do, Maya? Something. Because I want my husband back. This is not you, Darnell. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around taking orders from Kenny. I'm an employee at my own garage. Well, I don't know, Darnell. I mean, why don't you just... Quit? You can't even say it, Maya. Because I can't keep doing it. Looking plus, I ain't gonna give punk ass Kenny the satisfaction. I'm the best thing he got down there. And the customers know it. Hell, Kenny knows it. I mean, he gonna have to let me buy back in. Because if he don't, you know what? 
I'll just take all these customers, set up my own garage. Wow. You got such a plan, why are you stomping around here acting all manish? Because I just came up with the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lynn, you are worse than a raccoon. Now, do I have to have the bar sprayed with Fox PP? Monica, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. What are you even doing here? Now, I know you're not trying to grill me. You know what? I'll be out of here for a good long time. I just need some water for the tour bus. Bus? Last night, you were hopping a plane to Europe. Haven't you ever heard of an air bus? Or are you fronting about all your world travels, too? Hmm. You know it's the same the whole world over land. Crap. And in case your girlfriends won't tell you, honey, allow me. You fool of it. <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to lie to me. You don't even like me. I'm not lying. Girl, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you know what, Monica? Just screw you. And you have no idea how hard it is for me. I've been searching my whole life for something, and I finally find the one thing I'm passionate about that I, I think I'm good at. Bust my ass, swallow my pride time and time again, and right when it's about to pay off, it's ripped out from under me. I mean, this was supposed to be my shot. This was supposed to be my turn, and, and I am just so sick of it. God damn. trying to make something happen. I'm so tired of hoping. You'll be tired of hoping, man. I wasn't. Even when the man I fell in love with rejected me. Not once, but twice. I didn't listen to the voice that said, run away and go back to daddy's. I kept myself open. And when the time was right, William and I found our way to each other. And now I'm happier than I ever could imagine. Well, that's really good for you, but what am I supposed to do? I keep coming back to the same place. No, you don't, Lynn. Your experience with Big Boy puts you in a completely different place. And just because it's not what you expected it to be, doesn't mean you're not where you should be. Have you always been this profound and I just somehow missed it? Hmm. No, you ain't missing. I just never considered you worthy before. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be okay. Speaking, but nothing's real. 